Hey guys, welcome back. I feel like I've been gone for about two to three weeks. I don't know, I just felt a bit like not motivated to sit down and film and I needed that break to get myself together to try and do this again. So nonetheless, I'm excited to be back and filming. I have plans to film another video in a few days, so I'm excited. Um, but I wanted to come back with more of a natural look, grooming, tutorial this is what i do on a daily basis almost like a no makeup makeup look so i wanted to kind of share that with you guys i don't think i've ever done a video where i share like my grooming tips so i'm gonna do grooming and then we'll do makeup hair all that good stuff so uh without further ado let's get started and i hope you enjoy this look for my hair i like to do a quick low bun because i feel like it's just the easiest thing to do it takes about five minutes and i just create a middle part like this for me, I feel like side parts look super chic, but I can't do it just because I have really thick hair. But if you have thin hair, I highly recommend a side part. Um, so yeah, I just do a middle part and then I twist my hair so that it's a little bit more tapered. And then I just basically roll it around a couple times, pin it with bobby pins. And then for products, I like to use this beard oil, which I feel like just creates more of like that wet look and that oily look that I really like. And then after that, I do use a hairspray just to make sure there are no flyaways so um, yeah it's super simple so easy and I feel like I do this all the time I'm gonna move on to my makeup and as you can see my face looks super pale right now and kind of shiny because I have my vitamin C serum my moisturizer my sunscreen there's a lot of product on my face right now and I do need some grooming you know um, so the first thing that I'm gonna talk about is this little guy which I get from Amazon and I need to order more because this is my last one these are little razors for your face and you're supposed to only use them once but i have to admit i use them at least three times i know you're not supposed to but i just feel like because i use it on certain areas it's fine i do use alcohol to sanitize it every time i'll link it below if you guys are interested in this exact one but um, basically some sort of a small face razor i do this because you know i'm armenian you know we're kind of hairy we're a little hairy so sometimes i'll even use this to shape my brows because that's how lazy I am. So what I'll do is I just basically shave it down and it just is so quick and so easy. And then for this part, you do have to be careful. You kind of have to just pull your skin and then just create small strokes, super gentle. And then same thing for the top. So easy and I just, I don't know, I get so lazy to use tweezers and they hurt. So I'm just always using this guy. Make sure to close your eye because you will shave off your lashes. Also, if you're not lazy like me, you probably should use tweezers because it grows back way later. All right, brows are done. I will also use this for my mustache, you know? <laughs> And if I have any hair here, I will, but right now I think I'm good. I obviously don't do this every day. I do it about once a week and I feel like it lasts for a good seven days or so. Um, okay, I'm gonna move on to my makeup because I do very little, but it makes the biggest difference. We're about to do like a little before and after at the end. Just wait for it. I don't use this every day, but I'm just gonna go ahead and use it today for the sake of this video, but it's just a pore minimizing primer by Dr. Brandt. And I just use a tiny little amount with the Persona Cosmetics synthetic brush. And I just get this around my larger pores. That's it. Nowhere else. Just fills it in. Next, I'm going to use a concealer. I'm going to use this Dose of Colors concealer in number 16. And I'm just going to get this under my eyes. And then I obviously have some marks here. This was a pimple like ages ago, and I don't know why it's still there. But basically just concealing the redness. And then with a clean Persona brush, I'm just going to go ahead and blend it. And then with a bigger brush, I'm just gonna make sure there are no harsh edges. So as you can see, I just concealed my under eyes and then the imperfections, that's it. Nothing on my forehead, nothing on my cheeks. Oh, I just caught something. Not good. And if you don't have blemishes, this is gonna take you even less time because you don't have to do any of this. But I am blessed with all of these beautiful red marks on my face 
It took me a minute to like actually film this today because when I don't film for like two weeks, it feels really, really strange to get back into the groove of things. So I definitely need a bronzer because I am pale AF. I need it. It's gonna make a huge difference. So I'm using my Fenty one today and I'm just gonna get this on the hollows of my cheeks, a little bit on the nose and then the forehead and the sides of my, my jawline. That's what, that's what I'm trying to say. And then I'm just gonna blend this with a Kabuki brush. I do feel like I need to go over it with a powder bronzer, so I'm just gonna go in with my Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess and with a fluffy brush. And then for my blush, I'm gonna use this Laura Mercier blush in the shade Fresco. And this is cool because it's, it's more of like a neutral blush, so it looks very natural. And I just pop this on the apples of the cheeks. And then I always like to put this on my eyes, it's a habit. And it just makes it kind of flow better. For just a little bit of glow, I'm gonna go ahead and use this guy from Laura Mercier. It's just super, super subtle. And I just like to apply a little bit on the high points of the cheeks. It's more to give your skin a glow and not necessarily like a booming highlight, which is great for days like this. Just bringing back some of that glow. For my brows on a daily basis, I only use something like this, um, the Glossier Boy Brow or the Hourglass brow gels which again they're colored so they fill in the brows they shape it a little bit and also they kind of like brush them upwards so it's just super easy to use for just every day so i just brush it upwards i'm filming this on a thursday monday was my birthday and it was so much fun we kind of just chilled on sunday the night before we were in santa monica being tourists which was really cool had a little staycation there and then celebrated with the fam and then monday it was a work day and i got so many beautiful flowers for my birthday i felt su super special and i'm gonna celebrate this weekend so i'm thinking of maybe doing like a makeup tutorial because i'm having justine marjan come and do my hair and so i'm definitely gonna film that for like igtv or something and then i thought it could be kind of cool to do a makeup tutorial of like what I'm gonna wear to my birthday party. So if you guys are interested, let me know because that could be super fun to film. What a difference, right? And all with just this little guy, it's crazy. So then I'm gonna curl my lashes. And a lot of times I won't even wear mascara because I feel like it just does such a good job lifting my lashes. I am pretty happy with like the way it looks but if I have a meeting or if I want to put a little bit of effort I will put just like one layer of mascara just to keep the curls up so I will go ahead and do that with my long comb mascara I use this all the time so I'm just gonna do literally one quick layer because the idea is almost like a no makeup makeup grooming tutorial so you don't want it to as I say that I mess it up you don't want it to feel like you have a ton of mascara on, you know? I will clean that up. And then for my lips, I'll usually throw on a gloss. I'm gonna go in with the Persona Cosmetics in the shade Shortcake. This is one of the newest glosses, gloss shades, I should say. Just a little bit of that. And this feels like a lip balm, so it just feels really nourishing for every day. Especially, my lips have been so dry lately. And that's it, this is all I do. I don't use foundation, I don't use lip liner, I don't use eyeliner, eyeshadow, none of that stuff. It's just super simple, effortless, and it's very clean too. You just look very professional and groomed. So I feel like this is perfect for work, great for school, just running errands, very effortless, everyday makeup look. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. So that is it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm excited to be back, so let me know what you guys want to see next, and I'll see you next week. Mwah. Bye. Let me know what you guys want to see next. You know the drill, and give it a like, and um, wow, I'm asking for way too much. <laughs>